Now yeah, we're out of the workshop bright and early this morning. We're on a little trip to see a friend of mine, see if we can scrounge some materials for today's build. So why don't you come and join me and see what we're up to. made it here to a little industrial estate not far from where I live. I've had a word with the owner here and this is his scrap bin. So let's dive in and see what we can find. Okay so let's have a look at what we managed to dig out of their skip. Here we've got some nice mostly 3.8 ply even some big sheets right down to some smaller pieces of quarter inch ply but all you know brand new wood just small off cuts. And then here we've got some half inch laminated ply which has got like an outro plastic laminate on it which will, which will be good to use. We've got a whole load of quarter inch hardwood ply um, which was obviously wheel arch cutouts by the look of the shape of them. And then we've got a stack of half inch hardwood ply here which is going to be really great for the uh, draw sides and fronts. So yeah it looks like we've got enough wood to get going. All of this was only going to be thrown into landfill and the guy that I know that I get this stuff from he pays an absolute fortune to get rid of a skip full of this material so he's more than happy for people to come along and help themselves and empty his skip so he doesn't have to pay for it but it seems criminal to throw this in landfill when I know I can make really good use of it so I think I'm doing my little bit to uh, help the environment as well. Just been down to the big box store and got myself the draw slides. First thing I want to do is just draw myself up a little bit of a plan so I know what I'm doing. In the small cabinet I'm going to have two drawers and in the larger cabinet I'm going to end up with three drawers. So I've divided the space equally by two to give me the draw height 125mm. I've given myself a few millimetres clearance top and bottom as well. For the drawers and I've done the same on the other cabinet so I've got a dimension there of 160 mil for the drawer height for the larger cabinet. The cabinet internal dimensions is 500 mil so I've taken 25 mil near as damn it as an inch off the back. I don't want them to be full depth and hitting the back of the cabinet so I'm going to make the drawers 475 mil deep in both cases. Now on these particular drawer slides it says in the instructions to allow half an inch per side for the actual draw mechanism. So I need to take an inch off the width of the cabinet. So if I measure the cabinet internal dimensions it's 28 and an eighth of an inch. So I need to make my draw box width 27 and an eighth of an inch and then that will give me half an inch gap either side which will be enough space for the drawer runners. Before I run these salvaged plywood boards through the table saw there's some obvious brad nails here where these were fixed together previously so I'm going to spend some time now with the uh, hammer and the pliers and remove all of the obvious nails and then I'm going to give them a scan over with this metal detector because there might be a few that are hidden that I can't see and one that I have missed will probably ruin a really good blade. So it's just a case of obviously that will pick up anything that I've missed. I'll go over these boards thoroughly and then when I'm happy that they're clear of all the nails then we'll trim them down in the table saw. There we go. There's all the brads removed from those four boards. As you can see quite a few found by this scanner. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you want to purchase one of these yourself to where I got mine. Uh, very, very cheap and save you a fortune in ruined blades. These half inch thick boards are going to form the sides, the front and the back of the drawers. So I'm just going to rip these to width. clamped the four side panels for one of the drawer boxes together 
I'm just going to trim up this rough end and then I'm going to measure the length and then cut more to length. Okay, all the wood is now ripped to width and cut to length. These are the pieces, drawer fronts, sides, backs and fronts for the small drawers. And these are the drawer fronts and the drawer carcass for the three larger drawers. I'm going to join these together using a, a simple dado and rabbit joint. So the side panel is going to get a dado cut in it, the back panel is going to get a rabbit to match. And I'm going to do this on the front and back. I'm going to do the same setup on the table saw and then I should be able to run all the pieces through in one go. I've set the table saw up and I've just run a test piece through for the first cut for the side panels, making sure that it leaves me with my quarter of an inch to accept the back panel and the front panel. I'm going to have to do this dado with two passes. So I'll make the initial pass on all of the side panels, both ends. We'll adjust the fence and then I'll make the second pass. I've put this little sacrificial fence here just to reduce any tear out and also to give me something solid to push through the saw with so I don't get any kickback. Right, we've run the first pass through both ends of the side panels and I've also run a pass along the bottom edge to accept the bottom panel. So now I've just nudged the fence over a little bit and I've rerun my little sample through the second pass. I've adjusted it again, it was a little bit tight first time and now it fits the bottom panel really nice. That's a quarter inch panel so I know that's going to be the same size as the dado on the side piece. So that fits nice and snugly now. So now we can rerun the panels a second time all the way through. And there we have it. There's our quarter inch dado. I'll carry on now and I'll run all the other sides. Right, we've run all the dados in all of the pieces that make up the drawers. And now it's time for some assembly. I'm going to glue these and then as I haven't got any large enough clamps I'm going to just pop some brads in here just to hold it together until the glue goes off. i put plenty of glue in these joints because that's going to be the main thing that holds this drawer together. brush just make sure this is spread out well in the joints. Square. All right, I'm just going to make sure this is nice and square, and then I'm just going to pop a couple of brads in the end here just to pin that together.
Find the stoppage. You just see that, that joint that we were talking about earlier. There's a dado in the side panel and a rebate in the back panel. That'll give me a nice strong glue joint. You'll also notice that I've left the back panel, I've cut it short. I'm going to slide the bottom in and then I'm also going to pin a row of brads along this back edge, which is why I've cut this back panel slightly short. I am going to run some glue in this back panel because it's also going to offer a bit of strength to this drawer. So I want this to... It's all plywood, I'm not bothered about it moving, which I don't think it will anyway. But this is going to offer quite a bit of additional strength to this drawer when this is all glued in place. Make sure we're still square, which we are, nice. And then run a rubber brads on this back edge. That's our first draw carcass done. I'll clean up some of this glue, squeeze that, and then I've got another four to make. There we go, I've got three of the draw carcasses all complete now. They're all glued and brad nailed together. It just remains now for us to fit the draw runners and also the draw fronts, and I'll cover that in the following video. So please make sure that you subscribe because the next video obviously we'll be putting these drawers in place and adding the finishing touches. Hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. Please give me a thumbs up. Look forward to seeing you next time. Cheers.